Hello my friends, this is Gokster for the third part of my deconversion story. I have received the sacrament of confirmation. It had not have the effect I expected. A child of five years or maybe later is curious and want to learn something. Maybe especially more if those who are supposed to teach you something don't have the answers themselves. The teachings and answers my parents could give me were exhausted very early without satisfying my thirst of knowledge. Teachings and answers of other honorable people were no more satisfying. Not that I knew what a skeptic was, but I was it naturally, and I questioned everything. I did something which made my parents very suspicious. I read books, and my home wasn't comfortable. I have no memory having ever seen a book in my home until I broke them. Broke them first from the school library and later spending my whole pocket money by buying them. I liked reading and until my age of 14 I have read beginning with Annette Blyton, Robert Louis Stevenson, Mark Twain, Daniel Defoe, Tolstoy, Heinrich Böll, Karl Zuckmeier. Friedrich Schiller, Thomas Mann, Mary Shelley, all the must-read classics. And the religion? Altar boy? Catholic? Where was my skepticism for religion? <laughs> First, I had my own credo. This credo excluded what I couldn't explain, so I never opened my mouth to say or sing with all others that I believed in the Holy Ghost. Yes, I never understood the concept of the Holy Ghost. Father and son were no problem. I knew or at least expected the promises that I needed to have my sacrament of confirmation until, like the Apostles, the Holy Ghost comes over me and I would have all the wisdom and understanding of the world and answers to all my questions which nobody was able to answer before. I would be able to understand the concept of the Holy Ghost and the meaning of the Trinity went through the smack, pax decum, of the bishop, the fire from the sky comes over me, and finally I can share the whole wisdom of the Catholic Church and the human community. It did not happen. Okay, secondly. I was simply good in it. I enjoyed playing the theater before the church public and I liked singing in the choir, a choir who did also secular concert and later as a singer in the National Operetta Theater. It's a little jump now, we have to do to the year 1976. After the failure of my confirmation, I wanted to dig deeper, not without shocking my parents further by reading the 6th, 7th and 8th book of Moses, the Maleus Maleficarium, the witch hammer, and everything else what I could get in my hands about white and black magic, metaphysics, trying to find the stone of wisdom, and corresponding with the German Institute of Parapsychology in Freiburg. 
In history, I learned everything about the witch trials and the Inquisition. I became such a specialist that I was invited by many Yauf clubs all over the country to hold conferences about the subject. The spell and the how-to-do books were followed by me to experiment all possible recipes. In school, I was simply good without any special effort, so I could spend most of my time to get finally what the confirmation failed to give me. Yes, all of these experiments failed when I approached them with my limited scientific knowledge. So more and more, I was confirmed that all this was only bullshit. And in the same time, absolutely amazed what power this supposed knowledge gave me over other people. I don't want to hide that in the same time I also learned everything about hypnosis, later about psychology, semantics and rhetoric. This powerful witchcraft who really works. Does it get more interesting now? Let's see in the next chapter 4. Goodbye. <laughs> Eh, eh, eh.